Hey family, this is AJ Ali. I'm the director and producer of the film Walking While Black, Love is the Answer. And I want to talk with you a little bit today about that word love. Uh, in our film, we use it as an acronym. The L stands for learn. Learn about the community in which you live and serve. Learn about the people there. The O is for open your heart to their needs. The V is to volunteer yourself to be part of the solution in their life. And the E is to empower others to do the same. Four easy action steps that anyone can do. If you put love into action, if you're a peace officer, if you're a student, if you're a pastor, if you're a construction worker, whoever you are, whatever you do, you can find the time to put love into action in your life. And by doing that, you'll improve your community. You know, I want to talk with you a little bit about how love relates to policing in America. Uh, when I first started down the journey of, of making this film, Walking While Black, Love is the Answer, it started out just as Walking While Black. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was taking a walk in my community in Howard County, Maryland. I got stopped by a young white officer who got out of his car and pointed at me and said, what are you doing here? And that's how our interaction started. It got worse from there. Two other officers came by and long story short, you can see it in the film, I'm lucky to be here uh, unharmed. I'm lucky to be here today. I'm lucky that I was able to get out of that situation and be able to make a film to talk about it. But the film that I wanted to make was not about love. It, it really was about anger and frustration and pain. Things that a lot of people are feeling uh, these days. Some of you who are watching this are feeling it right now. And I can tell you from personal experience that the pain and the frustration and the anger of being racially profiled, um, that can eat you alive, you know. And for two and a half years after I was targeted by police and then harassed when I had the audacity to report them. I was harassed for about a year after that. Stopped numerous times. My, my wife and I were followed every time we got into a car, it seemed. Uh, it ate away at me and I was depressed and angry and frustrated. And, you know, it wasn't until I let all that go that I began to heal. And also I began to realize that love truly is the answer. So I know I'm going to get some hate mail for saying love is the answer when it comes to police because that's, you know, the way things are these days. But that's okay. You can send me your hate mail. I'm, I'm big enough to handle it. But get this. Hate never solved any problems. Not once. It comes down to love every single time. And if you take those four action steps, learn, open your heart, volunteer yourself, and empower others, you're going to see some things change. Now, I'm not an apologist for the police. I hold them uh, accountable for what they do when they do things wrong. But I also applaud them when they do the right thing. And 99% of the time, they do the right thing. So what about that 1%? That's not acceptable. And they have to change. But we have to do our part, too. We have to love on them. And I know that's hard for some of you. Because it was hard for me. But I can guarantee you that if you put love into action, you're going to see some amazing things happen. There's a, a major at the Howard County Police Department. Um, he's become a good friend. Major Luther Johnson. He's the guy that the NAACP had me sit down with in Howard County when I needed some answers from the police. And it took a while for me to build a relationship with him. And we didn't trust each other at first. But I'll tell you right now that he has become a trusted friend. And when he saw the film that my team and I put together, we took four and a half years to make that film, I think his heart changed. Uh, and he began to see the power of love as well. He was, don't get me wrong, he, Luther was a good guy before that. But there was this wall between us, or some might say a thin blue line. And it took love to break through that and for us to be able to build a, a relationship so strong that when I was awarded uh, a community service award by the Howard County NAACP for service to the community. I couldn't make it to the uh, award ceremony. So my mother, who's the executive producer of this film, she went and picked up the award and uh, Luther sent me a photograph of him with, with his 
arm around my mom, both of them smiling ear to ear. And uh, he sent me a note, you know, just supporting and congratulations. He was there for me, you know, and, and in support of this. And Luther was responsible for the Howard County Police Department to get a lifetime license to use this film to train their people. So love can break down barriers. It might take some time, but it's better than what we're doing right now in many cases of playing whack-a-mole. Every time something pops up, we go after that and we, we, we go out and we demonstrate and we yell and scream and we, we voice our frustrations and we, you know, we say F the police. And, but you know what? And I'm not knocking demonstrations because we have to do that. We have to rise up and, and make our presence known. But at the same time, not every cop is bad. What we have to do is we have to form relationships with those who are willing to sit down at the table with us and strengthen those relationships so that things can change. They have to change things from within, but quite frankly, they need our support because the ones who want to step up and change things, many times they're afraid to do that because they're not going to get the support from the community and they're not going to get the support from within oftentimes. But if we stand up and support those who are willing to stand up for us, things will change. I've seen it with my own eyes. And as our film gets out there and reaches more people, and more and more people begin to realize that love is the answer, things will change. Trust me on that. So what can you do? I encourage you to watch the film if you haven't seen it. You can see it at walkingwhileblackthemovie.com. Walkingwhileblackthemovie.com. There's a red button at the top of the home page, just click that and watch it. Watch it with your friends. Invite a police officer over to your home. I know that might sound strange, but the discussion that will take place afterwards will change your life, change your perspective. Something else you can do. You can talk about it. You can talk about this love is the answer thing. Put it into action, see what happens, and then, and then share it. And you know, I don't care if you have Bad things to say are good things to say. Say something about it so that I, I know that you're listening. And for those who, who believe in it, who have tried it, who have lived it out, I want to hear your voice as well because oftentimes we don't speak up when we have something good to say, right? The light has to drown out the darkness. You know, darkness leads to darkness. Light leads to more light. There's a Facebook group as well, the Love is the Answer movement. If you go to facebook.com slash love is the answer movement, join us there so that we can work with you. We're doing screenings and conferences and workshops and other activities all over the country. We've worked with Congressman Elijah Cummings, um, the NFL, who showed it at their headquarters in New York, the Players Coalition, uh, police departments all over the country are using it, libraries, and high schools and, and colleges are licensing the film and using it. If you have an organization that wants to use this film, get in touch with me and I'll send you information about how to license the film, how to do it properly, and how to use it and even bring Errol Weber and I out. We're the filmmakers. Errol was incredible stepping up and helping me to get this thing done. And Dan Brown Jr. who did the music and Lydia Hall, who edited, and there's so many other people on our team who contributed to this effort. Now we've got people all over the country that are teaching the Love is the Answer principles, and we're ready to come to your town and teach a workshop and help the police department and the community and the rest of the community, because they're one. They're not separate. The police and the community are one family. And if we can get you all in the same room, and spend some time with you and go through these things together and help you work through issues and differences and difficulties, I promise you, you'll be, you'll be satisfied with the results. So that's it for now. I'll, I'll come back later with some other uh, videos on this subject, but you know, think about those love is the answer principles. Put them into action in your life and see what happens. L-O-V-E, learn, open your heart, volunteer yourself, and empower others. Peace and love.